I think the one cup of coffee that I can never forget would be the first cup of coffee that I had here in Tiong Specialty. And I remember it was a Kenyan bean. So Kenyans are known to have a very citrusy acidity, black currant kind of flavour. At the point in time, I didn't know how to drink pour I didn't know how to appreciate it. I only like milk coffees. But when I had that, it was so sweet. It's so much like a Ribena cup that I was quite blown away. So I always remember that as the first good pour I had.如果是要一杯好的咖啡的条件，就是你要懂得选豆，选那个罗宾。罗宾就是生豆，将第二就是草工。你如果炒得好，也要一个真正的咖啡师来泡，才算是一杯好的咖啡。我的外号，Coffee Coffee 也不可以讲啊，我是中国人机啊，还是中国specialty品牌讲品牌不可以，也不可以讲啊商标，要靠我们草料，也要再筛选过的才对。这样讲阿拉比卡，你有分一级、二级、三级，到到五级都有。你一
to date, I'm actually in the third generation doing this coffee. So at the start of the day, usually the roastery assistant will actually prep the coffee. Whenever I'm in the roastery, then you know, uh, coffee bean will be loaded up to the roasting machine and the machine will be preheated at the same time. Uh, we lock in all the profiles and then you know, uh, the roasting process starts. The coffee itself is rather a complex food ingredient. Once heat is actually applied onto the coffee, it goes through a lot of chemical reaction. When the beans are first loaded in, we call it the endothermic stage, which means the coffee are actually taking in energy. Then heat and pressure start to build up within the beans and it goes through an exothermic stage where the beans actually give out heat energy in particular. The coffee, at the same time, it goes through very complex mild reaction as well as caramelization. And you can see the color get darkened along the way and then we roast it according to the customer's preference. To be fair, back then, uh, they didn't have a lot of high-tech equipment or measuring equipment. So a lot of roasting techniques were actually based on sight, then uh, also based on smell and also hearing. Because coffee, it's like popcorn, you know, um, it cracked at a certain temperature. So my dad gave me a lot of free way to actually experiment different roasting methods, you know, um, at his expense. I think you need to burn enough beans. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I would say experimental is too expensive given the cost that is presented in today's context. Especially beans are not cheap. What kind of teacher? I don't think I can call him strict, but I would say he's a generous teacher. He don't hold back in sharing. Over the years, uh, I think he has contributed a lot to the industry. He constantly have uh, industry people coming to him, you know, um, asking for advice, you know, wanting to learn roasting from him. Uh, he's rather generous in the knowledge, you know. He don't hold back just because I'm the son. You know, he teaches me a little bit more, but um, he does it to everyone. Yeah. In general, Uncle Tan shares a lot here. Like, so whenever he's around and we chat with him, he'll actually share a lot about V60 brewing. And one of the things that I remember the most will actually be this very interesting uh, metaphor that he gives, which is the first part, the pre-infusion as we call it, which is where you actually just wet the coffee grounds. He likens it to like being in a sauna. So he says you have to do it very, very well. You have to actually drip the water and wet it, but allow as little of the water to drip through as possible. So it's like, in his words, like, keep diao. <laughs> like you actually um, try to uh, keep the pressure of the water inside. So it's like a sauna. When you go into a sauna, your pores open up and everything. So it actually makes the coffee more extractable. So that was one of the first things that I actually remembered. A good cup of coffee, I would say the balance. So I think in specialty coffee, sweetness in the cup is a given thing. So for me, a good cup will be one that is sweet, but at the same time, it's not too flat. There must be a bit of acidity and a bit of a slight, maybe, finish to it to balance and round off the whole cup. Pour over is actually a very general term. It's like an umbrella term that uh, also includes all the hand brew methods that requires you to pour over coffee grounds. The specific method that we do here is V60. We actually chose the V60 because it's one of Uncle Tan's specializations. It's also something that we feel can bring out the coffee taste the most. With a paper filter, you filter out a lot of the oils from the coffee, so you actually get to taste a very clean, at the same time, a very complex cup because of how it's shaped, like a V-shape. When I make coffee for my customers, what I hope for them to take away or experience would be, you know, when you drink a cup of coffee or it doesn't even have to be coffee, a drink that you like a lot and it just makes you feel happier when you drink it or it makes you feel more comforted or it helps you feel better about the day or to start the day. That's what I hope for them to actually experience when they drink the coffee that I make. I think coffee is something that most people, I would say a majority of people drink regardless of whether you're a lawyer from somewhere or maybe you are a student studying and everything, we all drink coffee and that becomes like a common language that we can start a conversation about. What is one lesson that Uncle Tan taught me? I would say on top of the cannot sell zhang, must always be humble thing, it's also about passion and also the motivation to keep learning. So I think till today, he's very, very passionate about coffee and 
I think it's very easy for us nowadays. After a few years in coffee, we kind of get a bit jaded um, because honestly, it's not the easiest job. Um, there's a lot of other factors that comes in also. But he remains very passionate to the craft and the whole coffee subject. So because of that, I'm kind of reminded that, you know, don't give up so easily. Stay true to what you like and if you continue doing it, then yeah. My name is Samantha, I'm a barista and I have been brewing coffee for six years now. My name is Jacob, I'm a caffeine dealer and I'm also a roaster for the company. I'm Chen Chang-hek, I'm a coffee 